Hello friends, welcome back to my channel, myself Chira. In this video, I am going to discuss about how to solve AES Subbytes transformation function. Explain with example. Topic of network security. Let's check the outline of this video. First topic is introduction of AES. And the second topic is AES substitute bytes. Explain with example. Before start this video, subscribe my channel. And follow my blog chiragbalodia.com. All the video materials are available on my blog. Let's start with the first topic, introduction of AES. AES stands for Advanced Encryption Standard. This algorithm uses input as a 128 bits of plain text. And another input is encryption key, which is in different size. AES consists of a multiple rounds of processing. Different key bits like 128 bits key perform 10 rounds of encryption. 192 bits key performs 12 rounds of encryption and 256 bits key perform 14 rounds of encryption. So it means in AES encryption algorithm, the plain text size is fixed. It is 128 bits, but uses different size of encryption keys. This diagram shows the overall structure of AES encryption process. In AES encryption process, each round consists of the following four steps. The first one is substitution bytes. The second one is shift rows. The third one is mix columns. And the fourth one is add round key. Let's assume that I am discussing about the 128 bits key uses in AES encryption. So it means it performs 10 rounds of encryption. So substitution bytes perform 10 rounds, shift rows perform 10 rounds, and the mix column performs 9 rounds because mix column is not present in the last round. And add round key is performed 10 rounds. So here above 4 steps are called as AES transformation function. In this video, I am going to discuss about AES subbytes transformation function. First transformation function of AES is called as subbytes. It is also known as the forward substitute bytes transformation. AES defines a 16 cross 16 matrix of byte values called an S box that contains a permutation of all possible 256 8 bit values. This table is called as S box. In S box, all the values occupy 8 bits because all the values are in hexadecimal format. It means whenever you convert hexadecimal value into binary, so it represent in 8 bits. In S box, the rows and the column values are served as an index to select a unique 8 bit value from the S box. Let's discuss how AES subbytes execute in AES encryption process. For example, I have plain text matrix. From this plain text matrix, I want to map this value into the S box. So how can I map into the S box? For example, this element S01 value is XY. From this value XY, X is indicated as a row and Y is indicated as column in S box. When this row and column is intersect, it indicates a new value. That value is replaced with S01 element in a matrix. So this process is called as substitute bytes in AES. So let's take one example to understand the AES subbytes. For example, this is my plain text matrix. Now I will map all this value in S box and generate a new AES subbyte matrix. So let's find the first element of the state matrix. First value of the plain text matrix is EA. Here E indicates the row and A indicates the column in S box. When this row and column is intersect, it indicates a new value 87. So EA is replaced with 87. Let's find the next element.
if you have any query you can join my telegram group chirag balodia link is given in description all the video materials are available on my blog follow my blog chiragbalodia.com if you like this video please hit the like button and share with others don't forget to subscribe my channel follow me on social media all the links are given in description thank you for watching this video